Hey Taurus, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. How are you? This is going to be your love reading for July 1st through the 10th. I know I'm already a couple of days late. Um, couldn't remember if today was the second or the third, but it's the third. So uh, this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. If they don't, you can check your other signs. Or if you want to get a personal reading from me, just click on one of the links below. If you click the PayPal links, those are vid personally recorded videos that get sent to you, but they can take up to, t to seven days to get them. If you have the iPhone, you can download the InstaGo app from there and get a reading within 24 hours and just stay in contact with me. I have lots of different services on there. I'm currently doing a palmistry reading. Um, if you don't have the iPhone, you can always borrow one from someone <laughs> and delete the account. I, it's up to you. Uh, uh, hopefully, we'll be out for um, Android soon. I just don't know when. Okay, so Taurus. Uh, so this deck, y'all, is this is the deck here. I got it from AliExpress. I ordered it from China. It's all written in Chinese, Mandarin. Um, so if you can't read that, it will be of no use to you if you're learning the tarot because the book is the same. I only bought it because it was just so beautiful. Um, I like to think I know the tarot very well, uh, so I don't need to read the script. But if you can't find that website, you can just Google holographic tarot cards and um, I'm sure it will show up. Okay. So, Taurus, let's get started with your reading. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising for the week of July 1st through the 2nd? Or should I say July 3rd through the 10th? I'm sorry, July 1st through the 2nd. Uh, let's just say July 3rd through the 10th because the first... Now, also, I should tell you that some of these messages, you know, it may have already... Some of them may have already occurred could be occurring this week it could be a week later so forth so it's very fluid so just let the uh, energies play out as they will I know sometimes I get comments from people halfway through the week and they'll say this hasn't happened yet and I'm just like well we still have like five days left so let's try to you know calm down <laughs> not all of you of course but believe me I do get some of those messages okay I'm going to start pulling cards now here so you don't have to keep watching me shuffle. So your overall energy, death is in reverse, Taurus. Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. Hmm. Sorry that this is so crooked. Six of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in the reverse. A page of Wands in the reverse. Okay. I like to clarify the major arcanas. The overall energy is the Death card. So, something is not finished quite yet. There's a bit of suffering as well. Oh boy. This death card, that suffering, I just had like a strange feeling that came over me. Um, I guess like a feeling of, um, I don't want to say sadness, but struggle. Um, there's stagnation, um, inertia feeling stuck or somebody having hope destroyed you know death is when it's reversed there's you know it I f I'm feeling some type of suffering is is the overall energy for this week and don't be scared because death doesn't always in fact death doesn't rep it represents energy it's not predictive of oh you're going to lose someone this week so don't don't go there if you have someone in your life who is sick and suffering that's what this card is if it were in the upright then it would be after death okay so I'm going to clarify to see what is going on with death in reverse okay so as far as a love 
reading goes. Well, what a depressing reading to start. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I just, it's not necessarily, all right, let me just, I'm going to be truthful, okay, because I don't like to just play games with the readings. There's frustrations with that card in the reverse. There's travel issues. There's problems ahead. There's delays. This sometimes is Cupid arrow, arrows. This is swift messages not coming through. Some of you are in a situation where you are longing and feeling lost about someone. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, so the you know the over you're you're waiting to hear from someone. Some of you could be waiting to hear from someone and you haven't heard anything, but you know it's not over yet is what I'm picking up, but it's causing frustration and pain and worry. And there's a feeling of like, you know, not feeling hopeful about hearing from someone again. So the two of pentacles is here to, to start off. And, you know, the Two of Pentacles is, uh, twos are always about partnership, but I feel like you, you know, there's, there's options are being weighed. So some of you may feel like you have someone who either is making a choice between two people or you're trying to make a choice between two people you haven't ended a past relationship or a connection with someone. You're not reaching out to them because you can't figure out what to do. That's not all of you, just for some of you. The Knight of Cups is here though. So I do feel like a proposal will come in but it may be delayed or you're waiting for a proposal or you are holding on to someone because you want them to, or you, if it's, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, you want this person to reach out to you. But I do feel like there will be something that will be heard. Delays don't equal no messages. It's just this waiting. So if you're waiting for someone, whoever it may be to offer you their cup of love, you know, like, and, and I mean, you know, like shows up at your door to offer something to you. I feel like you may hear from this person or you may get this. It, 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 so it could have been delayed for a while where you haven't heard from them and now it's coming through. It's like romantic love, but I feel like this person is that kind of Prince Charming energy. So be careful with that. Because, I mean, it's definitely this person. Because look at the two cards. Death is in the reverse. Right? So they're both on their horse, the same white horse. But, but this person is not offering anything right now. Maybe later for whatever reason why it's why it is delayed I don't I mean I could maybe pull a card and see what's causing this delay or you know why they're you know you know it's not over but they're not speaking <laughs> so you're kind of like what's going on you know you're trying to balance things out or hold up the fort here or trying to make a decision or there's some choices that need to be made or some options that need to be weighed. What is this? Eight of Wands in reverse. Why? Huh. Something to do with an Empress, which is you. So, this person could be trying to decide about you as well, which is, you know, why they're not talking or they're not reaching out to you right now but i feel like you will hear something from them and even though the F five of pentacles is here which is a card that can be about being left out in the cold you you won't be left out in the cold alone um
you know, there's, there's a feeling, I feel like when you're with this person, quite honestly, that you feel isolated. Like when you're with them, you worry when you're with that person and you want them to reach out to you and offer their love and you may get that. But I don't honestly feel that you feel very connected to them. I don't feel like, you know, I kind of, when I look at this card, I feel like that's you walking for, or that's that person walking ahead and you're just kind of trailing along, barely able to walk. Like, I just kind of feel like this person is disassociated a lot from you. And even though you want them back or you want to be with them, or maybe you're weighing your options about whether you want that person to come back or you're weighing, you know, there's this something's trying, something's in the balance here. The struggle is just not over yet is what I'm feeling. Whatever's going on here, it has to be, yeah, this person isn't really rushing toward you at all. They have a fear. There's some kind of fear with them. You know, the Knight of Wands, he's usually charging forward with all his passion and energy, and he's not, he's not rushing out the door in your direction. So here it is weighing options and wondering, you know, trying to figure things out if, if love should be accepted, if you should accept the love offer or if, or if they should accept your love offer. Okay. Um, so I feel like that's kind of the energy that's playing out this week, but the struggle here is just not complete. It, it's it, so, you know, you want an answer. Yes. But I feel like, um, the person you're dealing with could have like a could have very impulsive sexual behavior or be very impulsive in their behavior which kind of leaves you off balance a lot um, and this card can also be about just taking a break from all this struggle you know or um, just taking your freedom for now because I feel like they're trying to decide whether or not to, to accept love from you and I do feel like they will maybe talk to you or say that they care, but they're still not decided if, you know, because it's one thing to care, which is great. It's one thing to, you know, like for instance, you know, I could say, well, I really love, or that's not a good analogy. I'm weird. I really love this bracelet, but I can't have a healthy relationship with it. It's, it doesn't have anything to it, you know? So it's like between logic and the heart, you know, your heart, you love this person. And I feel like they feel that way about you also, very much so. However, there's an issue with the logistics or the way the relationship is. And I feel like for now, it, it's just it, for you to just let it go this week. I don't think you're going to really hear much of anything. They're not going to try something new or try to get things off the ground. There's still this possible immaturity. There's still this struggling with the page of wands reversed. And to me, that's, you know, a lack of communication as well. But, you know, I know, keep the faith. You're keeping the faith. You're, you know, you could be dealing with someone who um, is kind of popular as well, but you're keeping the faith about the relationship. I just feel like they, they're not committal right now. They can't decide what they want to do. And that's why it's like when you're both together, um, you're still left out in the cold when you're with that person. Like you're with them, but it's like you're deep. There's this disassociation with them. There's a lack of emotion. You you know you're still together, but there's no connection here with them. And they're just kind of, you know. 
I don't want to say they're giving you the silent treatment. They're just trying to figure out what they want still. And they're not going towards you, even though they view you as being just so beautiful. They're so in love with you and they care so much, but something with them just makes them, maybe they have to get over their player ways. If that was, if they were someone who was just, you know, out living that lifestyle, they're trying, they're torn about whether they should accept love and really have a healthy relationship like they want it but and they and they will and they may I do feel like they, they, there will be something that comes in some kind of an offer about this but they're still under indecision you know so I do feel like it, it's some you know you want expansion you want growth with this relationship so I kind of feel like in some way you'll still be waiting <laughs> you know I feel like you'll 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 just be still waiting for them and that might be I mean if you're in wait mode for someone to make a decision about you like put them on the back burner and get on with your life obviously but, you know, I just feel like these are the energies that I'm picking up for a lot of you. Even if you're not currently with someone, you could meet someone who, um, they're non-committal. They're just non-committal right now. Even though they may enjoy being with you and they do like spending time, they think you're beautiful and they, you know, are handsome if you're a male, all that. But they're just not ready to transition to that next phase of life they're still they're still in the struggle place whichever it may be okay so i'm going to end your reading now it's kind of short but it's starting to rain i have to bring stuff in so um all right taurus i hope that you have a great week and uh, i will talk to you soon all right take care bye